Praise the Lord. God bless everyone on this beautiful day, Father's Day. It's Sunday. And I first want to thank my Heavenly Father for being a good father to me. Thank you, Lord. And I also want to acknowledge my son that is a father. I'm, of course, a father and grandfather. And I want to wish my son a happy Father's Day. I'll give him a call later, a little early now. He's probably still on cloud nine sleeping. But uh, listen, I want to acknowledge some people that has been a father figure to me. I didn't have a relationship with my natural father, my biological father. But I did have some good, godly men that were father figures. I want to start off by a man that when I first got saved 41 years ago, he took me under his wings, him and his family, and they mentored me. And he took time to teach me the word and to show me how to live as a godly man with values and principles and, of course, integrity and backbone. His name is Marcos. He went on to be with the Lord some years ago, but he's someone that I looked up to as a father. I also want to acknowledge my pastor. He'll always be my pastor. I sat under his teaching for about 35 plus years, and that's Pastor Apostle Luciano Padilla Jr. I choose to call him General Padilla. He, of course, taught me. I learned from him. I watched him closely, and he taught me how to pray, how to walk upright, and how to be a man of faith. And in spite of the ups and downs and the all-arounds, I still remember his teaching and his counsel, and that has helped me through the years. And I want to thank men like a lot of other men that I've known that have helped me. Uh, Reverend Henry Lopez, that has been a brother, but also a father figure to help encourage me. Uh, Pete Rios, that went on to be with the Lord, and uh, many others that I've known throughout the years that I've watched and, and I've learned from them. For instance, uh, also Pastor Ephraim Garcia. I learned from him and his counsel and his preaching and his teaching. And these are men that are fathers, father figures, spiritual fathers, and they've been a blessing to many of us. And I'm reminded of that scripture in first, uh, rather James, the book of James chapter one, verse 17. The book of James chapter one, verse 17, when it says that God is the father of lights. And he says, all perfect gifts, and I'm paraphrasing, comes from above, from the Father of lights. Now, theologians and those that interpret the Bible do not have a clear interpretation of what that means. And I did some research. The closest they come to is, of course, darkness represents evil. Light represents good. It represents faithfulness. It represents glory. It represents love. It represents purity. It represents godliness. And when it talks about he is a father of light, of course, he's a good God. He's a faithful God. He's a pure God. He's a holy God. He's worthy of praise. And he is worthy of all glory and honor. And I want to acknowledge God in our midst. And if you are having difficulties getting along with your father. I've spoken to men in my job as a drug counselor in ministry and prison evangelism, and many of them had problems with their fathers. Their fathers were, wasn't there or weren't, wasn't there. And their fathers neglected and abandoned them or abused them. And if you have a problem in that area, I want you to right now by faith on this Father's Day, give it to Jesus. Turn it over to God. Let him take that pain. Let him take those inner wounds. Let him bring inner healing into your life like he's done with me for many years. And he's been doing it and he'll continue to do it for you and many others. Just turn to the father of lights, the father that is good, the father that is worthy of praise, that is pure, the father that is love. He will love you. He will teach you how to live right and how to walk right so that you can be a father figure to many others that are coming up, that are missing their fathers. So I want to pray for you. And I want to thank God for you. And I want to wish you a happy Father's Day. No matter what situation you're in, no matter what problem you're facing, there is hope 
at the cross of Calvary and there is room at the cross of Calvary. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for whoever's watching right, right now that you would touch them from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet and you would teach them, Lord, how to walk in integrity, how to be a good father, how to love others, how to pour themselves out like many have done for me, how to pour themselves out into the lives of others, young men that are coming up now that need a father figure. Father, you're the best father there is. You're the fathers of fathers and you teach us and you show us. Uh, you'll never forsake us, never leave us. Uh, you empower us. Uh, you put love and joy and peace inside of us, patience, long suffering, the gifts of the Holy Spirit and you cause us to leap over a war and you give us victory. And today I declare victory in the name of Jesus uh, as we are going, many of us to worship you in our churches, Lord. I pray that you will pour out your spirit and speak to the man or woman of God to touch people's lives. I pray this prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. The Father of light, walk in the light as he is in the light. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There used to be a song some years ago. It's, I used to hear it all the time on the radio. It says, Send the light, the blessed gospel light, let it shine forevermore. Send the light, the gospel, blessed light, let it shine from shore to shore. God's light is shining in your life right now. In Jesus' name, receive that word. Amen. God bless you. Mm, mm, mm. I love you in the Lord. Amen. Mm.